Hey, good evening, everybody. We're back on television. I'm Steve Shamraz. Welcome to the Now Milwaukee. We begin tonight with a big honor for a humble train. And Milwaukee played a big role today in bringing a piece of World War II history all the way across the ocean to its final resting place. This is the Whitcomb locomotive. Built in the U.S. in 1944, these trains were shipped to Europe to help rebuild the railways after World War II. Afterward, most of the trains were scrapped, but this one was bought by a cement company in Mason City, Iowa. For nearly 60 years, it hauled cement. Ten years ago, it was retired. That's when the cement company got an unexpected phone call. We were approached by a museum in the Netherlands that wanted to restore this back to its original condition to celebrate the 75th anniversary of World War II. Uh, we're happy to be a part of that. The cement company cleaned up the locomotive just a couple days ago, lifted it onto a truck, and drove it here to Milwaukee. Port Milwaukee specializes in handling unusual cargo, and this is certainly unusual cargo today. Over the course of the afternoon, crews carefully connected cables to the old locomotive, and finally they raised it and placed it on a large ship. This ship will leave Lake Michigan, go through Lake Huron, Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, the St. Lawrence Seaway, and then out to the open ocean. That trip's a long trip, and it will take about two weeks. The final stop, the Railway Museum in the Netherlands, that's planning a special exhibit on World War II. It's a little bit of bittersweet. It hasn't run uh, most of the time I've been here. I've been here since 2004. It hasn't run in about 10 years here. It was nice to see it go and actually be restored back to the way it should be. That museum will restore the train to its original white and yellow colors. They hope to have it ready and running by year 2021.